On this Debaco University video, I'm going to take you outside. We're going to take a look at what different size containers and the different size cannabis plants that they produced, even on the early stages. Because this is a question I often get asked is, what size container should I be growing in? And outdoor applications have different uh, parameters than indoor growing operations. So we're going to see a comparison between a 10 gallon, about a 40 gallon uh, container as well. So you can see in the image here, the larger pot is definitely making a significant impact. There could be a multitude of reasons for that, but for outdoor production, you might want to be thinking a little bit bigger than information you might be getting from indoor growers. So let's go outside and let's take a look to see uh, our different container sizes and how our plants are performing outdoors. So growers often want to know what size container they should be growing their plants in. Here we're in an outdoor location and these plants were started in small little uh, containers. And then what size do you pot them up to and how much kind of repotting do you go through and do? Here in an outdoor growing location, that should be kept to a minimum and basically transplanted right from this size to whatever your final container is going to be. Now here we see a little bit of a comparison. We have a 10 gallon uh, grow bags right here. And then we have a larger one located right here. So it's probably a 35 gallon uh, bag here. And we could see just the difference uh, in plant growth that that larger area is causing there to be a larger plant. Now this doesn't mean that just if we get a 100 gallon pot, it'd be that much larger. The advantage to the larger bags in this outdoor setting, now it is quite warm today, these smaller containers, they're gonna heat up a lot more. That's gonna cause your root zone temperature to become elevated. You know, we're gonna be approaching 90 degrees Fahrenheit here today, if not higher. Um, so as a result, that soil temp is going to get much higher, indicating that root zone temperature is going to get warmer. Anything above 72 degrees Fahrenheit really is detrimental to root growth. Top growth can handle that, but we want to keep that root zone cooler. This larger container allows a greater buffering capacity. It allows this to take longer time to go through and heat up. As a result, that cooler root zone temperature will allow the plant to actually proliferate uh, much greater than if you get a really, really hot root zone temperature. You might see this with clones. If you've gone through and done cloning with particularly aeroponics and you get that temperature too warm, you're going to have issues that's going to reduce or retard your total rooting and re increase your rooting time. So just keep that in mind that sometimes larger bags are better, but it's not a linear scale. There is that theoretical maximum there, that plateau. Um, as a result, that 45 gallon pot for an outdoor growing setup with a compost base uh, with some uh, manure added to it medium looks like it's performing a lot better even in the early stages, which I would expect to progress as the season continues. <music> 